This next story is a profound one. A Highland Park woman recreates Harriet Tubman's Underground Railroad route to freedom. News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane is live tonight with this very inspiring story, Naomi. Brittany, inspiring indeed. Mitra Lundy walked from the eastern shores of Maryland all the way to St. Catharines, Ontario in Canada, retracing the steps freedom fighter Harriet Tubman took. Now, though Tubman's route through Jersey is unclear, Mitra made sure to add her stop here in Highland Park. The idea of doing that is great, but the physical toll is remarkable to say the least. Mitra Lundy is an author, producer, and a fitness coach. She's also the subject of the documentary, A Walk in Her Shoes, which chronicles her recreation of Harriet Tubman's 695 mile journey to freedom. We sat down with Mitra at her Highland Park fitness studio, Kinetics, as she tells us her why was an attempt to overcome personal hurdles she was facing in 2017. A pain is an amazing motivator. I had a major health scare and my life was changing and shifting ways that I just didn't imagine. And um, I was at a fork in the road and needed to make some decisions. She then had a dream and that set her journey in motion. And she chose to include a client who was also dealing with life's hurdles. And I told her I had basically dreamt about Tubman and that we should uh, take a journey simulating Tubman's steps uh, to freedom as a way of sort of inspiring something within ourselves. The trek kicked off in June of 2019. Initially, the route was only going to include the Maryland to Pennsylvania leg of the journey. But after a second dream, Mitra decided she'd walk the entire route, ending in St. Catharines, Ontario. Now along the route, they had to make changes because of things like safety and construction. And though Mitra's a fitness professional, this proves to be grueling for even the most fit. But her journey gives us a glimpse into what enslaved people had to endure as they followed the Underground Railroad to freedom. Emotional, you did it! The blisters on the feet and the amount of strength you need to have in your legs and the uh, clarity of mind and um, dedication to such a thing really opened my eyes to how it must have been for Tubman to do such a thing. And the first leg of Meester's journey was from Maryland to New Jersey. That's 187 miles. It took them five days to complete that. And the cool part about uh, her journey was that unplanned, she got to meet some of Harriet Tubman's descendants in parts of New York where they live. And that was completely unplanned. She said that was one of the best days of her life. Now the DVD chronicling this journey is out. We've got the links for you under numbers and links. Brittany, I'll send it back inside to you guys. Naomi, thank you. I'm sure that was just such an emotional uh, trek for her. Great story. And as Naomi mentioned, several spots on the Underground Railroad went through the tri-state area. We've got a list of a few of them along with interesting information about each and every one that is on our News 12 app.